Chapter 2, Section 5 is about literal equations. This is a two-day lesson, and by the end of those two days, you should be able to model a real-world problem with an algebraic equation and solve it. All right, so literal equations are actually equations that have two or more variables, and that should be your vocab word. This is an example. We have both an x and a y in this equation. Because, that, because there's two, this one is a literal equation. In this section, they're going to tell you which letter that you want to solve for. That means that you want to get that letter alone. So in this case, it says solve for y, so you want to get y alone. Okay, That means you want to make this equation be y equals something. Okay, that is our goal. Okay, we're going to do what we've been doing, and we're going to work backwards with PEMDAS, we're going to start by removing, adding, and subtracting, multiplying, dividing, much like we have in the first four sections of chapter two. Um, what I always do first is I look at, I find out what letter I need to get by itself, and I circle it, okay? Just so that I remember that's my goal. That's what I want to get alone. Then I make my train tracks, and then I'm going to start moving things. Okay, I want to get things away from that letter Y to the other side of the equal sign, starting with adding and subtracting. Okay, remember that he, what is being added to this Y is this negative 2X. The whole thing is really just one term. So instead of having a negative 2X, I want to move it. So I need to do the inverse. The inverse of a negative 2X is a positive 2X. So I'm going to actually add 2X to both sides. That will eliminate the negative 2X from the left side, leaving me with just the 4Y. And on the right side, 12 and 2X are not like terms. So I literally just write 12 plus 2X. Okay, now I still have this 4 and this y together, and I only want the y. So I need to separate these two. Because 4 and y are being multiplied, we're going to do the next step. We're going to undo that multiplication with division. This is where it's a little bit different than what you've usually done. We need to divide everything by that 4. So every term on both sides is going to need to be divided by 4 to get that y by itself. Okay, on the left, that will cancel this out, leaving me with just the y, which is what we wanted. On the right, I'm going to do 12 divided by 4, which gives me 3. And 2x divided by 4 gives me 1 half x. Because I have y all by itself and I have nothing else that I can combine, this is my final answer. That is what they were looking for when they asked you to solve for y. All right, this one is also asking me to solve for y, so this is what I want to get by itself. Uh, the reason I have these in blocks is because you could actually physically move them if that helps you, but we're going to try just following order of operations backwards. Um, much like last time, we're getting y by itself, and we're going to start with adding and subtracting. What can I, where is the adding and subtracting that I can undo? Well, this negative 2x is what's being added on to the term with the y. So I'm going to do the opposite or the inverse of adding a negative 2x. And I would subtract a negative, which means I have to add 2x. A negative 2x and a positive 2x are what are going to make that go away. But remember, whatever I do on one side, I have to do to the other side. That leaves me with 5y on this side. And 12 and 2x are not like terms, so I'm just going to leave that as 12 plus 2x. All right, after adding and subtracting, and when I'm working backwards, I'm going to look for multiplying and dividing. And I only have this 5 times y left, so I'm going to divide by 5 on everything, every term. That'll leave me with y equals, if you want to divide these out and get a mixed number, you're welcome to, but actually 12 over 5 plus 2 over 5x would be fine. Otherwise, it would look like y equals 2 and 2 fifths plus 2 fifths x. Both of these would be acceptable.
All right, again, solving for y, feel free to move the blocks if that will help you. This is the letter I want alone. So if I'm looking for adding and subtracting, the number that's being added on to the term with the y is this four. So we wanna get rid of this four by subtracting it. That is the inverse. Okay, that leaves me with a negative four y on the right and five x minus four on the left since those are not like terms. All right, we've added and subtracted. Checking for multiplying and dividing. Well, to get a negative four times y separated, I need to divide by a negative four on every term. Okay, that leaves me with just my y, which is exactly what I wanted. And on this side, I'm gonna leave the negative five over four x, but the negative four divided by negative four is a positive one. So your final answer is y equals negative five fourths x plus one. Okay, word problems. The equation 10x plus 5y equals 80 represents how many pizzas and sandwiches you can buy for $80. X is the number of pizzas and Y is the number of sandwiches. First thing we need to do is solve for Y. All right, so if we have 10x plus 5y equals 80 and we're trying to solve for Y, I'm gonna work backwards, take away anything that's being added or subtracted from that term, which means I'm gonna subtract 10x from both sides, leaving me with 5y equals negative 10x plus 80, and then divide by five on every term, which gives me y by itself, like we wanted, equals negative 2x plus 16. Okay, that's part one. I got y by itself. I solved it for y. Now it says how many sandwiches can you buy if x equals 3 or if x equals 6. So now I have it set up perfect that I can take these numbers and plug them in for this x. All right, so let's find out if we, uh, since X stands for pizzas, we'll find out what our number of sandwiches would be if I bought three pizzas. Okay, so we have negative two times three plus 16. Well, negative two times three is negative six, plus 16 gives us Y equals 10. Okay, that means if I buy three pizzas, I can buy 10 sandwiches for my $80 total. All right, then let's try, what if we bought six pizzas? Let's try that with a different color here. I'm gonna plug in a six for my X. Negative two times six is negative 12, plus 16 is four. So if I buy six pizzas, I will still have enough money to buy four sandwiches. Okay, last slide for today. We want you to solve for y, and then find the value of y if x is zero, three, and negative two. So you're gonna get y by itself first, then plug in those three numbers into your x. All right, so if I wanna get y by itself, this one all I have to do is subtract the 2x to move it to the other side. Okay, so y is equal to a negative 2x plus 5, or 5 minus 2x, same thing. Okay, so that's part one. Now I'm gonna plug a zero into this x. If, um, let's see, if I go negative two times zero plus five, well anything times zero is zero, plus five, equals five, so y equals five when x equals zero. Okay, then we're gonna plug in a three, so y equals negative two times three plus five, which is negative six plus five, meaning y would be negative one if x were three. And now if we plug in a negative two, y equals negative two times negative two plus five, four plus five tells me that y would equal nine if x were equal to negative two. Okay, 
maybe erase this last one just so we have a little space for our next problem. All right, if I'm trying to get y by itself, I need to get rid of this x. Okay, well, in order to cancel out a positive x, I need a negative x. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides. That leaves me with negative 4y equals negative x minus 4. And now I have to divide these to separate them. So I'm dividing everything by negative 4, which tells me that y is equal to 1 fourth x positive, because those were two negatives being divided, and then plus 1. All right, if I plug in a 0, um, 1 fourth times 0 plus 1, that's going to just give me a 1. If I plug in a 3, I'm running out of space here, 1 fourth times 3 plus 1, well 1 fourth times 3 is 3 fourths plus 1 will just be 1 and 3 fourths. And then if I plug in a negative 2, I'm going to move up to the top here, 1 fourth times negative 2 plus 1. 1 fourth times negative 2 gives us negative 2 fourths, or negative half, plus 1 equals positive 1 half. All right, that is the end of day one. Uh, you should be able to do page 112, numbers 12 through 18 even, and then 32 through 37. You may also be able to do lesson quiz numbers one, 